What's up, Meta Junkies? It's your friendly neighborhood game of David E. Beats, and it's about time for me to geek out a little bit about Destiny 2. Now, before we get into the video, we have several winners for our PS Plus membership giveaway who have not yet messaged me to get their download codes. I'm announcing all the winners right here in the video. Please make sure to shoot me a message through my channel to accept your membership. And I am choosing another winner for this video as well. So if you want to enter, all you need to do is leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Now, on to my opinion of Destiny 2 while you watch some of my amazingly sweet Crucible footage from this morning. I'm going to break down my rant slash review into three parts. Gameplay, story, and music, which I feel are the top three things that Destiny 2 excels at. And I'll also add a final session for things I didn't like as well. And a disclaimer, my copy of the game is in French, so I will be referring to things by their French names since I do not really know their English names. Gameplay. First things first, let's get into the gameplay. Where D2 succeeds in is giving you a reason to do all of the grinding that made D1 die off. D1 and D2 have the same types of missions, bounties, and etc., but D2 gives you context for doing them. No longer is Zavala telling you to do a strike, you are now Lavangad, a force whose job it is to find and destroy threats before they become to Earth. Heck, in D1, I barely even knew Zavala's name. I always play Hunter, so I never interface with him in D1, only really with Cade, but now all the characters have this amazing personality and realness to them, grounding you into this universe. Also, the grinding has been made very fun. Before the enemies were predictable, but this time around, even in the open world modes, mind you, the enemies are smarter. They take cover, they flank, they group up, and they do everything a player would do. I found myself genuinely challenged on nightfalls and story missions in a way that I rarely am with games nowadays. It goes without saying that the graphics are amazing. Everything is new and improved. And even better, I love how it starts all players with the worst looking armor and spacesuits. It really makes you appreciate your decked out guardian when you spent the last 6 hours looking like a woodsman. The missions and quests are also very challenging. The Jalon, or the schedule, is a handy tool to replace bounties by simply giving you a list of activities to accomplish during the week. Partigide, or Guided Games, is also really great. I got my first taste of the raids and nightfalls using this mode when my clan was not online. Also, the clan feature is amazing. Before, clans were not really integrated into the game, but now you can use the Destiny Companion app to message your clan and you can gain experience for your clan which applies to all the members. The PvP is excellent. They have retooled some of the classic D1 PvP modes and added some new ones that are now my favorites like Supremacy or I guess it's called Supremacy. Teamwork is the new focus of PvP. Although unlike some games, cough Overwatch, <laughs> your individual skill can now carry a match. In the gameplay footage you are watching right now, we started the game at a huge disadvantage with 3v4, but we still kept the score tight until a fourth man backfilled on our team. We stayed grouped up, we covered each other, got picks and picked up engrams, and ended up winning by a very small margin. I'm loving the new team focused PvP because it now encourages more than just the run and gun strat of D1. You have to be smarter. You can't just run into a 3 stack with a shotgun and go ham. Even during your ultimate, you can be killed just as fast as if you were not ulting. There is no more defense buff during your ult. So if you go into the enemy team with a Creolance or blade dancing, you can be killed even after taking out one or two. Overall, I think the gameplay is excellent. Story. The story is fantastic. I'm loving the way they set up Gaul to become a complete badass. I'm not going to spoil this part for those that have not finished it yet, but trust me, it is a very moving story. The journey from powerful to powerless to powerful again is so endearing. I think I might play it again on my French account and some more on my American account. Even weak enemies like Shanks and fallen foot soldiers are so hard to kill at the beginning of the story. 
you can actually die now. It is now a fight for the very life of the traveler, the earth, and just life in general. If I can boil down where all my positive feelings about the game come from, it has to be the campaign. Most shooters have so-so campaigns, but D2 story was epic on so many levels. I like to go more in depth, but again, I don't want to spoil it for those who have not yet played it. Maybe I will do a story recap later once I'm sure that most of the community has played it. Music. And finally, to my favorite part of the game, the music. When I bought For Honor Collector's Edition, uh, the game came with a music disc. But the music was cool. I wish my collector's edition of D2 came with a music CD as well as all the other goodies I got with it. This is the only game outside of Final Fantasy 7 where I really just wanted to pop the music on my iPhone and play it back all day. The music is composed so well, it fits the world and the epicness of the entire game. From the somber theme of La Domaine, or to the hopeful triumphant theme of La City, or even the music from Orbit while you are waiting for your clan to decide which activity to do next. Awesome and epic. Bungie, please drop a soundtrack CD, I'd definitely buy it. Things I don't like. Honestly, there isn't much I don't like about this game. If I had to really think hard, it would be that you can grind through a lot of the weekly activities in less than a day. I like there to be more diverse activities, or even better, more diverse public events. It gets kind of boring sometimes when you're doing public events on the world and it's the same one pasted onto a different part of the map. But I'm sure that that's something that Bungie's working on. And that's it for this video. Remember, if you're one of these people, please send me a message with your contact details so I can get you the correct PS Plus membership for your country. And remember, if you can still enter to win a new PS Plus membership every week, all you need to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. And remember, to play better, watch just meta. Thanks for watching.